Field of Faith Church in Rock Hill, South Carolina, with Pastors Larry and Kathy Souls. And we're so delighted that you join us tonight. We just ask that you just call someone and say, you need to listen to this tonight, because we are going to be praying for you, praying with you, partnering with the Holy Spirit, and believing that God is working on your behalf tonight. God is so awesome. He's so wonderful. He is great God. He is a wonderful God, and there is none like him tonight. He is just gracious, and we just thank him for that tonight. Welcome again to Prayer Works. Prayer Works is a, is a ministry that we have here at the church that we pray, come together, and pray on live stream for at least 30 minutes. We read the scripture, we discuss it, and then we pray for you. We want you to believe tonight that prayer does work. And no matter what you may be going through tonight, no matter what you're facing tonight, no matter what circumstance is, is beyond you or before you or on the side of you or behind you trying to catch up with you, it doesn't really matter about all of that. What really matters is that prayer does work. And even though that the circumstances in front of you, it seems overwhelming, and it's just, it's just like... I, it's no way I can bear this. I just can't do it. But I want you to know tonight that there is someone here to help you, and his name is Jesus. Jesus died on the cross for you. He uh, died on the cross for you, for your healing, for your deliverance, for everything that you may be going through tonight or everything you may be experiencing tonight. He has already paid the price for you. And that's why he encourages us in his word not to worry, not to fret, but believe that he will do what he say he will do if we only will ask. So we come in tonight on your behalf asking God to meet your needs tonight. And your need may be financial. It may be a miracle that you need. It may be a sickness that you're going through tonight. It may be concerning your loved one or your enemies. It, does, it, just, it may be any of these things that you may be experiencing. But I encourage you tonight. That God is here to meet your need. And with the scripture we like to use tonight is Philippians 4.19. But let's start at 4.10. It says, but I rejoice in the Lord greatly that now at last your care for me has flourished again. Though you surely did care, but you lacked opportunity. Not that I speak in regard to need, for I have learned in whatever state I am to be content. I know how to be a base, and I know how to abound. Everywhere in all things, I have learned both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Nevertheless, you have done well that you shared in my distress. Now you Philippians know also that in the beginning of the gospel, when I departed from Macedonia, no church shared with me concerning giving and receiving, but you only. For even in Thessalonica, you sent aid once and again for my necessities. Not that I seek the gift, but I seek the fruit that abounds to your account. Indeed, I have all and abound. I am full, having received from Ethodosius. The things which were sent from you, sweet-smelling aroma, an acceptable sacrifice, well-pleasing to God. Verse 19, and my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Verse 19, and again, and my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. So we want to pray, and we can go into these scriptures and just begin to talk just a few moments, and we want to pray for whatever need that you may have tonight. If you have any needs tonight that you'd like to, for us to join with you with, uh, please email it to us, prayer.shield7 at gmail.com, prayer.shield7 at gmail.com. Father, we just thank you tonight for your great Awesome God that you are. You're wonderful, worthy to be praised and worshiped and adored. And Lord, we just thank you because you are our helper and you are everything. And as we pray for the needs of your people tonight, we realize, Lord, that you are the source. 
You are the source. You are our source tonight. You are our provider tonight. You are a helper tonight. You are a strip tonight. You are a healer tonight. You are, or I, if, if anyone in financial need, you are the financier tonight. You are everything, Lord. And we just thank you tonight that we can come before you tonight believing that prayer works. That prayer really does work. If we work prayer, prayer will work for us. And that's why we're here tonight, to work prayer. And to pray on behalf of your people tonight that you, oh God, would join with us and that you will answer their prayers tonight. And Lord, we thank you for that in Jesus' name. God is just awesome, God. He really is. He's just so wonderful. He's just a great, great God. And we, we're excited about praying with you tonight. So please email your prayer request to prayer.shield7 at gmail.com. And we are more than delighted to pray with you, to pray for you, that God would answer your prayers tonight. Prayer work started probably three or four years ago. And because there are so many things that go on in our nation and in our lives and so many things that we go through, we here at Shield of Faith believe that we really believe in prayer. And we want you to know that even though you may be in another state or another city or right across the street, doesn't matter where you may be tonight, but we can send word to you. We can send the word, we can speak that word of God to you, to your body tonight, and believe that God will touch your body. Believe that God will heal your situation that you're in tonight. Believe in tonight that God will give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation and whatever you may be going through tonight in the knowledge of him. Because we believe tonight that we can speak the word and the word works in Jesus' name. I was at the store today, and I was watching a little girl that was, her mom was purchasing some things for her. And this was like a big store. And she only had maybe like three things. And, and I was looking at her, and I look at the parent, and looking at them buying their groceries and, and the things that they need, and some things that, you know, you would think, that, well, maybe she didn't need, she just wanted. But as I began to look at that, I'm thinking, God is so great and so awesome that even a mother began to buy things at the store to meet the child's needs. Some of these things the child didn't even ask for. Some of the things she didn't even know she needed. Just like she was buying one thing for a friend that had got getting ready to have a baby. And the baby's getting ready to come in this world, not even knowing that it needs clothes, not even knowing that it needs food, not knowing that it needs shoes or socks or, 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 or milk. It knows that it needs something to eat, but it doesn't know what it is. But that lady was buying clothes for a newborn baby that the mother will really enjoy because the mother wouldn't have to pay for it. It must be a gift. And as I began to look at that, I'm thinking, how great is our God that he sent Jesus to die for us even before we even knew that we needed him. We didn't know that we needed him, but he sent Jesus to die for us. And just as that young lady was purchasing things for her little girl and clothes for her little girl for, for the summer and just the girl, I'm sure, had clothes, but the mother saw a deal, and she began to buy these things. She said, that they're probably too big for her right now, but she'll grow into it. And that she mother was looking out for a need that's in the future, a need that, that she may not need right now, but maybe within two months, the little girl will be able to wear that. So as I begin to look at that, I'm thinking how God has already sent Jesus to die for us. And Jesus was born... He died on the cross. He was beaten before he died, and he received all of these whips, and, and then he died on the cross, and then he went back to where his, where his father was at. And even with that, when we look at that, it's like he did it for me. He did it for you. And he, as he did it for all of us, it's like he says, I go away, but I won't leave you comfortless. I'll leave you a comforter, which is the Holy Spirit. And then he says, that as he going away, that, you know, all these scriptures that, 
that the Bible teaches us in Luke, John, and Matthew, and all these scriptures, and Mark, all these scriptures that we read about Jesus when he was on the earth, how he met the needs of people, whether it's uh, financial, whether it was sickness, how he met their needs, and, and, and even spiritual, how he met their needs, because he knew that we were in need of a Savior. And you may say, well, where are you going with this? Where I'm going with this is whatever you need tonight from God, he has it. Whatever you need from tonight from God, he has the answer. He knows everything. He even knows what you're going through before you even ask. Even with this little girl, she didn't don't know many things she doesn't know how to say, Well, mom, mom, I need this, mom, I need this, because she's not of that age yet. But yet the mother already knew what the little girl gonna need before she even asked for it. And that's the way it is with God. God already knows what we need before we even ask. But yet, he wants us to come to him and ask. Philippians 4.19 says, But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. And it's not, it's not because of your bank account. It's not because of your neighbor's bank account or your friend's bank account. It's because of his riches, things that he has already stored in heaven for you, things that he's already prepared for you. And that preparation that he may have prepared for you, it's not like he's going to just come drop manna from heaven like he did in the Old Testament, but he will use somebody that, that will listen to his voice to answer the need that you may have for your request. He has somebody. And, and that somebody is just waiting on you to ask and not knowing that you are the person that they're supposed to help in this particular situation, but yet they know that, well, God's asking me to do something for someone else. And that's why God needs all of us. He needs you. He needs you because he needs you to fulfill his will that's um, in heaven so it be here on earth. So when the scripture says, but my God shall supply, if you accept him tonight as your God, if you accept him tonight that he is the only one that can help you tonight, if you accept the, the reason tonight that there is a God, and if you accept the reason that in the beginning God did create the heavens and the earth, and in Genesis, as you read those verses, if you believe tonight that there is a God, only believe only believe, no matter what you're going through tonight and you feel like, I'm, I'm just downtrodden. I guess I have so much I'm going through, you just don't understand. But I do understand this, is that there is a God. And this God did not put this upon you, but there is a God. And this God that I'm talking about tonight is the God that want to help you tonight. The God that want to supply. To supply means to, to make available for you. To make available where like you go to stores, whether it's Walmart or to Bala's or whatever store you may go to. And you go in these stores, you can see clothing or you see food or you see shoes or you see household needs. These stores has made the, all of these things available to you. But you just can't walk in that store and just say, I need this, I need this, and I need this. And, and put all this in your bag and just walk out the store without paying for it. No, you would get in trouble. But yet, they made it all available to you. Whatever soap you need, whatever detergent you need, whether you need writing paper or different types of ink pen, you, you go to all these different stores because this store or this particular store has the things you have need of, the things that you so long desire. This store has supplied it for you so you can come in and you can purchase it and then you can take it home with you. So in, in that scenario that we could say is that if they if man has built a store or man have built a grocery store whichever way which one you may decide upon tonight if man had done that and then and providing all of this or making this available to you and for you what do you think about our God who think who you do do you think gave him the idea to do this creativity doesn't come from our own strength Creativity comes from God. So as man began to build these stores and provide all of these things for you, you have to realize one thing is that God has already provided things for you. And you, because you can't see it, because you can't walk in the store and pick up a piece of paper or pick up a pen or pick up 
anything that you meet need because you can't walk in the store and get it. Sometimes we're, we're like, well, I don't know if God would do it for me. But I'm here to tell you tonight that God will do it for you and that God wants to do it for you and that God has already provided for you. The only thing you have to do is realize and agree with his word, agree with him and say, Lord, you provided this for me and I believe that you can do this and I ask you to do it in Jesus' name. And Lord, if I need wisdom in this situation, if I need revelation, then God, I ask you for the spirit of wisdom. I ask you for the spirit of revelation in the knowledge of you. Because I realize tonight, God, that you are my only source. You're my only hope. And there's so many times in our lives that a dollar will not fix our problems. Ten thousands of dollars will not fix our problems. You can go to the best hospital and spend all the money you have, but it won't fix it. And so many times we come to that point and we realize that only God can do this. But I believe tonight that God wants us to trust him even in an early stage in our lives, even when things are going well. He wants us to begin to trust him and realize that he's God and he's there for us. And then when our trials and tribulation does come our way, that he will never leave us. He will never forsake you because he loves you. But the, this scripture says that God shall supply all your need, all your need, not just one, not just two, but all of them according to his riches, according to what he has, according to what he has in heaven or what he has in the earth, what he has according to his riches, according to what he, what belongs to him, that he will supply. So uh, you don't have to compare to, to your friend, well, you know, they'll meet my need according to their $10,000 that they have or according to their million dollars that they have or according to their billions of dollars they may have, they will meet my need. But God says, then this scripture, the scripture says that God shall supply all your need according to his riches. I believe tonight that he's here to provide for you. I believe tonight with all of my heart that he wants to provide for you. I believe tonight that he knows that we all have daily needs and that he, we all have things that we are going through, things we're asking for. But I believe tonight that he knows that there is a heavenly father because he's confident in whom he is. He's confident in knowing that, that he's God, that he has it all. He has all the answers. Be able to tell you where you can go. But not only that, he has the answer where he will provide. He can provide healness. He can heal you. He can deliver you with, from medicine or, or whatever you may be taking. He can deliver you. That's the need that you may be experiencing, but he can do it. Without the doctor's help, he can do it, and he wants to do it. So I encourage you tonight that when you pray, just ask God to help you. Just say, Lord, I have this need. I have this need. Just name that need. Lord, I have this need. And your word said that you supply all of our needs according to your riches and glory in Christ Jesus. And I believe that tonight. And I have this need, so Lord, I, I believe that you're going to supply the answer. You're going to supply the result. And I thank you, God, in advance that, that as you're doing it and while you're doing it, that I will praise you and I will thank you and I will honor you because I know that it's been done in your name. God is so willingly, he's, he's just so willing to help you tonight, to help all of us tonight. And, but he encouraged us to pray. Concerning our daily needs, we can ask and he will do it. He, even though he already knows what you need, just like the mother at the store, she already knew what her baby needed. needed. She already knew that they need food or whatever she had in her buggy for that child. She knew that, well, you're going to need this. So I'm buying this in advance. So if a human mother can do that for her child, think what your heavenly father would do for you because he loves you. He really does. So we just want to pray tonight. And if you have any prayer requests, just email us to us at prayer.shield7 at gmail.com. Prayer.shield7 at gmail.com. And we will join with you 
partner with the Holy Spirit to pray with you concerning your needs tonight. So, Father, we just thank you tonight. We thank you for your word tonight, Lord, that you said in your word that you will supply our need. So, Father, if, if there's anyone listening right now or listening a week from now or a month from now or a year from now to this broadcast, I pray tonight, Father, if there's any healing or sicknesses in their body tonight, I pray tonight, Lord God, that they be healed in Jesus' name. Lord, we pray that every spirit of infirmity that attacked their body, that it must go in Jesus' name. We thank you tonight, Lord, that you are the healer. And there is no other healer but you tonight. So we receive it tonight. Whether it's tuberculosis, whether it's lupus, whether it's cancer, whether it's an earache, whether it's a headache, whether it's a problem with your eyes or with your throat or with your legs or your feet or your internal organs. No matter what, doesn't matter what it is, we agree with you tonight. Just, just raise your hand tonight and say, Lord, I receive my healing tonight. I receive my healing tonight. And believe it with your heart that, as you said that, that you believe that God will, some way, somehow, doesn't even know how he's going to do it. But you believe tonight that he will do it. That the body that's been challenged with this sickness or, or sicknesses in your body, that tonight, that your heavenly father will set you free from that. And he will. So be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed by the stripes that he's already bore for you. Those stripes that he's already paid for you. Be healed in Jesus' name. And you may be listening tonight. You say, well, I don't, I don't have any sicknesses in my body. But I am financially in debt. I have so much debt that I just can't seem to get out from under this. So I pray for you tonight. Just raise your hand and receive wisdom. From the God, receive the wisdom and the spirit of revelation and the knowledge of Jesus Christ that you will come out of this situation that you're in. That God will give, begin to give you wisdom on how to pay your bills, give you wisdom on the, the who to call concerning your bills, give you wisdom whether it's another job you need or a better paying job you need. That He will give you wisdom to you tell you which way to go or or how to go, which way to go about it. That He will do that for you tonight. Why? Because you ask in Jesus' name. The job is there for you. Somebody's looking for you. You have something that they need. You just need to meet. And you can meet somewhere in a cafeteria. You can meet in, on, on the fairground, anywhere. It may be on the airplane somewhere. And you be talking to somebody and they think, oh, I need you. This is what I need. Somebody have need of you. So it's like one is on this side of town and one other is on this side. But believe God tonight that the two will meet together, that you will meet with part of your destiny, with this particular job that you're looking for, a better paying job, able to take care of your family, be able to tithe and, and give it to the kingdom of God. Why? Because Jesus loves you. And why? Because you ask. God is he's in the business of supplying needs all the time. All the time. He's in the business of supplying needs. And you say, well, I have a, I, I, my needs is not the sickness or the financial finances, but I have marital problem, but that's a need that need to be fixed, correct? So whatever need is in your marriage, begin to pray, Lord, I re ask you right now, I ask you to supply the needs in my marriage according to your riches in glory. Teach me how to be the husband or the wife. Teach me how to pray concerning my marriage. Teach me how to pray concerning the, my, my, my mate. Teach me how to pray. Change me, God. Change me so take the scales off my eyes so I can see my mate the way that you see them. That I can feel about them the way that you feel about them. And that when things come my way or when things are said that hurt my feelings or whatever, I will not take it personally, God, because I just let it just wash off my back, just like taking a shower. I was just like, just let it just fall off. And I refuse to let contentment or bitterness come in my heart. Because, God, I want my marriage to work in Jesus' name. So you lift your hands tonight and say, Lord, I agree with you concerning this marriage. And I ask you to show me, to lead me, to guide me on how to be the husband or the wife that you need me to be. 
because I want this marriage to work. Why? Not because I just want it for myself, but I want it for the kingdom's sake. That together we can travel, together we can, we can do the work of the ministry together. And it's for your purposes, it's for your will, dear God. See, prayer is so wonderful that you can just pray about anything. And it's not about praying about that person change or, or somebody else do this, but it's praying about the person begin to see them the way God see them, feel about them the way God feel about them, and believing when you pray that God will answer their prayers tonight, that God will touch them, that God will save them, that God will deliver them. Because if someone is in bond, bond, bondage, they have a need. If you are bound tonight about anything, you have a need that you want to be set free. So we can believe God for that tonight, that he will supply that need, that area that's keeping you bound, that area that, that keeping you just knocked down, that God would come in your life and he would feel some things inside of you and would give you the strength and give you the confidence and give you the boldness and that, that's such a willpower inside of you. Say no more in Jesus' name. I let it all go in Jesus' name. Because God loves you so very much. And I know I said that before, but I really believe that. That he really, really, really loves you tonight. So whatever need you have tonight, whatever need that you seeking God for tonight, just ask him and believe that he will do it for you. And you say, well, I've done this and I've done this and I've been bad and I've done all of these different things. But God still loves you. You still can say, God, please forgive me of all of my sins. And it's like he just wipes it away like you've never done it. It's like he just removes it, like he just washes you clean like it never happened. So there's no excuse why you can't say, why you can't ask God to supply your need in that whatever particular area you're in. Just like you go to a store and all these things are available in the big store. Imagine the biggest store that you've ever been into. And it may be 10,000 square feet big. And all this space is being used. And you go in that store and you have all of these things that man have made available to you. So you can walk in this place and you can buy something or you can purchase something out of that store with your money. If man can do that and come up with this, these ideas with multiplicity of things in the store, just imagine what heaven, just imagine what his riches is like. If, if man can, you can walk in the biggest store that you ever walked in or the biggest mall that you ever walked in and you see all these stores and different type of clothes and different names and you have all of this in this, this large mall. And you go in there and you can buy whatever you want to buy according to the money that you have in your pocket. The money that you have in your purse. You can purchase anything you want to purchase according to the money that you have. But just imagine if this is a large mall and he says here according to his riches, according to what he has, according to the things that he has already provided for you. And the thing about his thing is that it's his riches that he's given to you. You can't pay for healing. You can't pay for deliverance. You can't beg for, for somebody being saved. That you, there's no price that you can pay for that. He's already paid the price. So when we come to him, we come according to his riches. So why not receive his riches tonight? Tap into him. Love on him. You say, Lord, what is it that you want to give me tonight? How should I line my, lap, my life up with the word of God that I can receive everything that you have for me? Not that it just be for me, but I know that it's for the be used for the kingdom of God. And I know as, as I do that, then Lord, you will be glorified. You will be magnified. You will be highly exalted because there is no God like you. God loves you. He really does. And I want to encourage you tonight to know that you can tell him about all your needs. And he will supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. We love you tonight. We thank God for you tonight. 
We encourage you tonight to hold your head up. And no matter what you may be going through tonight, what you may be experiencing tonight, know that there is a God that loves you. And there is a God that wants to supply a need for you tonight. Know that he loves you so very much that he sent Jesus to die just for you. What great love. That is such a great love tonight. So we love you. We encourage you to come visit us here at The Shield off of 24995 Tower Road in Rock Hill, South Carolina with Pastors Larry and Kathy Souls. We have two services on Sunday mornings, 9 o'clock service, and again at 1015. So come join us and experience God with us. And we will experience God with you. That together, that we can receive what God has for us. That all of us will leave this place different than what we came in. Because we come believing and come expecting, knowing that God is supplying our needs, even, even here as a church, and even here as a church body. And that when we leave out each Sunday morning, when we leave out the door, that we are taking our needs that's been met spiritually, our spiritual needs that's been met. We're taking that with us so we can meet someone else that may need the same thing that we have needed and God blessed us and fulfilling our spiritual need so we can help someone else. So we come, we ask you to come and visit us and be a part of, of our services that we have here. You're more than welcome to come. We love you tonight. We appreciate you tonight. Pastor Larry Kathy Souls, love you tonight, and we will see you again next week.